Hello everybody and welcome to the second part of the tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we will learn how to uh, control wise events through code uh, in Unity. Um, on the pre in the previous tutorial we learned uh, how to trigger trigger events using uh, uh, using uh, wise uh, the wise tools. Um, we learned how to integrate and we had a basic setup of uh, the Unity project and the wise project. Um, this is our suffix. So let's get started. Let's create a new folder. We'll call this folder scripts. Inside this folder, we'll create a new script uh, called audio master. This script will will be the main script that uh, ha will handle all the events. Um, use the original file. Um, we'll handle all the events uh, and basically we'll do all the f all the f we'll hold all the functions um, that we want to do on the events. I confused myself, but it's fine. Um, so first thing we need to create a uint called uh, bank ID. Uh, this uh, this variable. This variable will uh, will be used. Um, will be used to uh, load the audio bank, uh, load the sound bank. Basically, what we're doing here, um, you see on start, uh, trigger on start, we load the sound bank. We're gonna load the sound bank uh, through script here. So, uh, uint is a uh, int that doesn't go negative, so you get the double, f like the double range positive of a regular int. We're gonna use the audio kinetic sound engine a load bank function. Inside this function, the first parameter is the name, the name of the of the sound bank, as pers as we created here. So Unity wise Unity sound bank. I'm gonna put it here. The second parameter is the uh, member pool uh, pool ID. Um, I'm gonna use the default one. Um, AK default pool ID and the last part is an out we need to uh, because we need to change uh, we write into this variable this variable will get the bank ID that is loaded now so we we'll use bank ID okay now we'll create a new um, a new method new function if you like we'll call it play event um this function will be used to uh to do exactly what it sounds like to play an event it will get a string that will call that will be the event uh event name and uh to play an event we're gonna access the sound engine uh post event the post event function gets uh two parameters. The first parameter is the name of the event that we're going to use the s the um, event name string that we're going to put in into this function. Uh, we can also use the event ID, but uh, using the event using the event ID uh, can be uh, it's more for me it, it doesn't really matter. For me it's more easy to use the event name as a string. And the second parameter is the game a game object uh, that is emitting uh, emitting the the sound. Uh, this is um, why we need a lowercase game object. So uh, this helps uh, when creating when creating uh, position sounds. Uh, so it can do the panning left and right and position the sound in the world accordingly. So it has to know which sound o which game object is emitting the sound. Uh, so we have our play event. Uh, now we're gonna write uh, we're gonna write a new function. We call it uh, stop event. I have a double e here. Event. And again, this will get a string called event name. And inside inside this function, we're gonna write the stop event function. So the stop function is a little bit different. The stop function get, uh, only works with uh, event ID. Uh, 
uh, that's why we're gonna create a create a new int call it event ID and we're gonna get the ID from the string so again we're gonna access um, ak sound engine uh, get ID get ID from string method and here we type in the string uh, which will be our event name um, event ID equals and yeah here we get here we get the event ID the next thing is what we want to write the the stop actually to stop the event so again we're gonna access the sound engine and we're gonna we're gonna execute execute action on event so the first per parameter will be our our event ID this is the event we want to execute uh, the action action on the next parameter is um, aka action on event type which is an enum and we can we can see all the actions we can we can execute on this event for this example we want to stop uh, the next parameter that we need is we need the the game the game object that is going to be emitting the sound again game object with lowercase g that means this game object this next part is the fade out um, basically um, I always I always create uh, when making this event I always create another um, another variable a float call it fade out and I add it edit it here fade out multiplies multiplies um, 1000 and this next part is the s is the wave the f the form the form of the parabola of the of the fade out uh, it's called ak curve curve interpolation again this is a enum and we're gonna select a sine wave so it's gonna fade out using a sine wave and this function is ready now we're gonna create another function which basically will be the same thing just instead of stop it will be um, pause pause and another function which will be the same thing and instead of pause it will be resume and again we of course we need to change it here uh, pause and here to resume okay so we have we have all the functions uh, all the functions that we want uh, we want to use uh, our audio master is ready uh, the next the next part we need to create oh I got some errors um, that's clear where Oh, I forgot the semicolon here. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. This cannot be a float. This has to be an int. Because uh, we're trying to fade out in seconds. And, yeah. It would be good if this could be a float. But it can't. Uh, okay and for some reason uh, it throws an error about this um, this v variable but don't worry because we never assign it but we do use this variable um, here when we initial initialize the sound bank so the next thing we want to do is uh, create a wise uh, wise event uh, we'll go I have I have again some test assets here some uh, music a friend of mine wrote for one of my case. Yeah, this will work. We drag it into the interactive music uh, part. As you can see, this uh, now treats it as a music segment. Uh, intensity number four. And we create an event that will just play, um, play this music. We call it play music four. Uh, inside the event, uh, we need to we need to assign the event to the um, to the sound bank, 
again you can see you can see all the um, all the assets are being added here oh we forgot we forgot to to convert the file uh, again the the hotkey is uh, shift C um, to do that we're creating for Windows um, a very important part um, not to forget to generate the sound banks yep and okay so now we'll go now we'll go back to back to a uh, unity first of all we're gonna remove the um, the sound bank initialization from the player we're gonna create a new script a new script we're gonna create we're gonna call this uh, music controller our music controller basically a uh, what we want to do through this music controller we want to uh, play the music stop the music pause the music and resume the music and before we continue uh, writing the script uh, we need to make a couple of changes to our um, audio master uh, we need to load we need to load the the sound banks here so we're gonna change this to load bank we're gonna change the name of this uh, function uh, second we're gonna uh, make our music controller a child of our audio master class and we're gonna load load the audio banks the audio bank here oh sorry it needs to be public or p protected um, load load bank so we load up we load up the audio bank and now in the update uh, we'll create the the controls so if input oh sorry dot get get key down uh, key code uh, keypad one we will play the event oh I forgot a parenthesis here we will we will play the event so play event um, and we put in a string that is the name of our event uh, basically music play music for so yes when we press well so when we press a uh, keypad one we will play the event um, now we'll create a new if function keypad two will uh, stop the event and if you remember we also added a fade out to it so let us uh, two to the fade out oh I also forgot a semicolon here and uh, we'll also add a uh, keypad free um, keypad is the num uh, the num buttons if you were wondering so here we pause pause the event um, and we'll create a new one that will be resume that will be keypad 4 so right now if we we'll go to our player oh sorry um, and we're gonna put the music controller on him um, this should work let's see so I'm pressing 1 the music is playing I'm pressing 2 the music is stopped with the fade out that we put in I'm pressing 1 again and now I'm pressing 3 the music was paused using the fade out and if I press 4 it will fade in from the same point we stopped it pause resume so yeah basically uh, this is how we control uh, events of you can implement this in your game uh, you can you can play the event on trigger enter when specific things are happening when specific keys are being pressed um, and you can use all those uh, free functions in your code uh, thank you very much
Uh, the next tutorial will look into how to control uh, real-time parameters uh, set up in WISE and how to change states. Um, yes, thank you.